This is another Rhodes reviews Falk. Because Falk is usually right. And Rhodes agrees. But might I say that I can be pretty scathing verbally on people. But Dr. Falk, I, I don't call him Darth Falk for no good reason. And if I might quote my friend Wilbur, uh, we don't call him Dr. Falk for no good reason. It's a character I developed. Uh, Smoky Saints, Vic and Pig Farm. Look it up. But Dr. Falk scares me because he has this force ability that I call the facial expression or the piercing eyes. Now, I don't know why I have this insight into Dr. Falk, but maybe it's because we're a dyad in the force, possibly, but I wouldn't uh, want to exalt myself. <laughs> Uh, 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 no uh, equal by any stretch of the imagination with Dr. Falk. But anyway, I digest. But, you know, you can listen to me. I have a beautiful radio face. And you can listen to me, and I can be pretty scathing. And you can listen to Dr. Falk, man, and he could put you in your place. But if you start looking at his facial expressions... Now, this is what I was talking about. I don't know why I can read Dr. Falk's soul. But let me tell you, those facial expressions are saying far more than most people would realize. There is no word that Smokey Saint could ever say that would be more disdainful of what I might call the Falk face. So if you're getting the folk face, dude, you're in serious error, or as he says, quote unquote, inaccuracies. Dr. Falk is a better man than I, but let me tell you, he'd like to say a few more things than he does, but that's all I can say. Jephthah to 1100 BC. So their use of the dating here to um, to try to say that this is a proof for the uh, early Exodus is really circular. Because if they had used the same methodology that, say, the late daters had done, they would be placing Jephthah at, um, at say, you know, midway in that span. Mm, yeah, that's interesting. And yeah, I see what you're saying there. Not 1100. Mm -hmm. They're following the same methodology, but they're not following the same methodology. They're actually using the Exodus date to date Jephthah and then mm -hmm. using Jephthah to date the Exodus. <laughs> yeah, but he does say 300 years. So doesn't that mean he, they've been there for more than 200, though? Well, maybe. But so you, you look at that entire passage and you start getting some... Um, <laughs> Wow, uh, how do how would I say this? Inaccuracies. Uh, yeah, inaccuracies. It's it's really the whole the one of the things we have to understand about the whole Judges eleven narrative is that it's Jephthah's botched attempt to do diplomacy. Okay, mm -hmm. it's really clear from the passage that Jephthah does not want to have.